Hi everyone, Steve here. Well, I'm at home. I'd love to be out camping, but I uh, just haven't been able to get out for about a month or so. It's either been, uh, had family things on, or it's been raining, or we've been crook. We're, both Annie and I have had really bad colds. Not the old coronavirus, just really bad colds, and uh, had a few days off work, but getting over it now, and hopefully uh, next weekend we can get out somewhere and go camping. I got myself a uh, little liquid beverage in here. Um, I bought another one of these cups off a of Ryzen Tour and the other day. Absolutely fantastic. I think Annie's got a new wine one. Thanks Dave for uh, sending that out to us. I actually bought this one myself and because um, Dave sent me a couple out ages ago and um, been using them. Annie keeps stealing mine so I decided to buy one of my own. Got a nice blue one. But uh, we're going to have a bit of a cook up at home here tonight. We, um, I've got some other products that were sent out to me by um, another company barbecue uh, spit rotisseries and uh, I'll put a photo up on the screen there of their little logo and uh, I'll leave a link in the description but they uh, seen some of my videos and um, said they really enjoyed my content and uh, they wanted to just send me out a little uh, thing just to do a bit of a demo on and they asked me what products I had and um, they'd seen me video on the Ospit and asked me what I actually had bought for the Ospit and I'd bought uh, a few different things I I had this little uh, tray thing here that uh, we cook up veggies on and they fold in and you can cook steak up on them and swing it around over the fire. And I had this little uh, baking dish here that sat on there as well. And as you know, I've got the uh, prongs that go on to the rotisserie. I'll put a little bit of a video up of a chook or something cooking or a bit of pork or something I'll cook with it. But um, there was a product they had that I said to them I'd be really interested in testing out. And I've got it on the uh, rotisserie here now, and here it is here. It's just a little uh, roasting dish. Now you push these two little clips in, and the top comes out. And you can put your meat or veggies, fish, whatever. Um, there's a multitude of things you can cook in this. But uh, it's quite deep. You can see there it's probably about 40 mils deep. And you've got the little uh, piece that has little fittings in the side there that where you can lower it down to different heights. Um, and it just goes on to the Ospit and uh, you just bend those little prongs in, put the lid on, put it on your Ospit and away it goes. We're gonna do up a bit of lamb, uh, butterfly lamb in this tonight. And uh, they also sent me out some um, rub. So I'm gonna throw maybe the uh, lamb rub on that one. It's got three different types in there, chicken, beef, and uh, lamb, and they sent me that out as well. So we're gonna give that a go. And they also sent me out the uh, little um, drum roller that goes on it. I've got it over here, I've pulled it out. So that's it there. And that just goes straight on the shaft, slides in there and you do up that little wing nut. And uh, you can put chicken in there, potatoes, and uh, roast up some stuff over the coals as well. I'm gonna give that a go as well. So you just pull this uh, end piece off. It is, it is quite tight. So once you put your gear in there, you just put that on, secure it on there, make sure it's on so it doesn't come off, slide it on and do up the little wing nut on the uh, rotisserie. I can't do that cook up today with that. Um, I will do a separate video up using this, but uh, we're going to do the uh, lamb on the rotisserie today. So I've got my coals going away in there, got them heating up. I'm using the Snow Peak fire pit. I uh, just got the Jacaro table and uh, we're just going to have it going around out here. I've got all the food inside, so we'll go in there and we'll show you the meat with the rub, show you putting it in the basket. Then we'll bring it out here and get it on, show you a little bit of footage and then we'll uh, show you what it looks like when it's finished. So, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to everyone that uh, supports my videos. It's uh, your support that helps me bring you stuff like this. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh, really? really got to thank uh, Barbecue Spit Rotisseries for uh, helping me out with this. I uh, really appreciate it, guys. You know, thanks very much. Get on their website and check out all their gear. I'll um, put a bit of a scroll through. You can see me uh, stuff there just sparking up a little bit but uh, they've got a heap of stuff on there. They have not only Ozspit, they've got lots of other different uh, 
cooking gear for um, whether you're at home, whether you're camping. Absolutely fantastic. Like I would have liked to, the, what I'm cooking today, you could do this when you're camping, no worries at all, because the Oz spit is very mobile. It just comes in that little long bag, hammer it into the ground, over the fire, over the ground, whatever. It doesn't, uh, you don't have to have all this gear. You can just have the coals on the ground and uh, use this. So you're not, you don't have to have all this gear to do what I'm doing today, but I've decided to do it home just to show you. And we will do some more cook ups, probably with some chicken and stuff like that when we go out camping as well. But uh, yeah, thanks very much. The other thing I want to mention too, um, you may have noticed I'm wearing my new uh, shirt turned up the other day. I put a bit of a video up on uh, my uh, social media and that. Got the new Saw Adventures logo on the back. The other one on the front and uh, up on the collar there you might be able to read what it says, uh, content with bite. They've come up really well. Brett from uh, SMG has done a fantastic job. Yeah, so I put a bit of a post up on my social media about the shirts and uh, I um, waited till I got a heap of interest and I ordered about 16 of them because I had to pay for these up front before I ordered them. Uh, if you want to order them, you'll have to do it through uh, Brett at SMG. I'll put his link in the description, so just tell him you want uh, the uh, Saw Adventures shirt. He does make them in the uh, older design as well. I'll put one of those on in a minute and uh, show you that one as well. But this is the new one. I actually really like this. I love the black and the nice blue and the red. It really, it's a really nice uh, shirt you can wear out or whatever. And it's got my big logo on the back there that you can uh, do a bit of advertising for me when you do it. But it is a really comfortable shirt. So. And I have got the older design shirt as well. You can get them in long sleeve as well. That You don't have to have the short sleeve. But they're absolutely fantastic. Heap of different sizes. Just uh, message Brett or give him a call and uh, he'll get back to you and he should be able to order them for you. Let's head inside now and uh, get this meat and all the uh, veggies prepared. Cheers, everyone. Okay, everyone. We've got it all in there. Annie will come over and uh, we'll just get a closer look at all this. So as you can see... We've got the meat all in there. We've got a few potatoes, a bit of sweet potato. I've got the coals in the fire. So it's just a matter of now, of swinging this around and switching the button on. I just got, I might have to just adjust this a little bit more, I think. Yeah, I will. It's gonna hit the, uh... good thing about this, you just gotta undo these little wing nuts and slide that out a bit more. I'll just slide it over and make sure it's in the right spot. Yep, I think that's about right. Bit of trial and error here. Just be mindful everything is hot around here. So we'll put that over the fire. We'll switch her on and see whether she misses everything. So there we go, we've got one little potato that's slipping up and down but that won't hurt. But you can see there it's all clamped in, it's pretty thin and hopefully that will, uh, heat will come up through there and uh, cook that up really nice. Never done this before so a bit of trial and error for me but I've been wanting to use one of these baskets for a long time just to try it out. To, so you can put that little bit of thinner meat in there and it'd be great for fish like if you wanted to put a bit of fish in, a bit of foil or something like that and cook it over the fire, but uh, absolutely fantastic. We'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. And also you might notice, I've changed my shirt around. I've got the uh, older design shirt with all the new logos on it. So it's my original shirt that had FJ Camping and Touring on it. It's got the Saw logo now. It's got the new one on the back, and uh, but it's the old shirt with Airs Rock, all the kangaroos, all the Australia Arna stuff, still got it. Ellie, all the Facebook stuff. We're going to let this run around now, cook up. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished and tell you what I think. Cheers, everyone. Okay, guys, I reckon this meat's nearly done. We've had a couple of losses down there. A couple of the potatoes and that uh, fell out. We're going to try and rescue them in a minute. Um, that should be all right, just a bit of charcoal. But I'll tell you what, that meat has cooked up fantastically. Have a look at that. I wish it had smell of vision on this, but the uh, veggies look really good. The racks are success, absolutely fantastic. 
Um, that's the rub we put on it there. Flaming Coles traditional lamb rub. Like I said, uh, we got that from um, Barbecue Spit Rotisseries. Uh, make sure you check them out. I will leave a link in the description. Uh, we'll set this up now. I just did a bit of a sneaky live feed too and uh, had a bit of a yarn to a few guys. Um, just showing them the cook up. And I did mention in the cook up on that video, if you check it out, I've got this as well, which I'm going to do a video on as well. It's a little um, rotisserie drum and you can put uh, chicken and uh, do chips in it, all sorts of things, have a cook up in it. Um, I couldn't do it today because uh, I was using the other one, but uh, we will be using this and I am going to have a giveaway on this too. I'm going to give one of these away. So there'll be details on another video about how you can win this, but uh, absolutely fantastic. So stay tuned for that. I did leave a bit of a sneaky thing on the live feed I did. So if you want to go back through that live feed, I think it goes for about 39 minutes. But uh, we're going to get this served up now. That looks absolutely amazing. This little uh, rotisserie thing here is absolutely fantastic. I will definitely be putting this in the vehicle when we go camping now because uh, you, know, you could butterfly a chicken, you could butterfly uh, numerous things or even cook up a bit of fish or anything in there. What about a bit of scotch fillet or a, a couple of great big pieces of, um, what do they call them, those bloody dinosaur chops cooked in there? They would be amazing cooked in that. So I'll get her all served up and uh, tell you what I think, have a bit of a taste, taste test and uh, then we'll finish off. Cheers everyone, thanks for watching and uh, if you could hit that uh, subscribe button too that would be really great. Cheers everyone. Okay guys, I've just um, stopped the rotisserie, I've just pulled the uh, top out of the basket, just got it so it's level and flat, um, I just put my gloves on it, it was just a matter of squeezing those two prongs together and you lift the top out, now the, the meat is skewered so I won't be able to pull it out but I just want to get the veggies out, so I'm just going to grab them out, so you can see how easy it is to get them out, it's absolutely cooked up amazing I'll tell you what, um, now I could probably cut that meat out I reckon I'll, what I'll do is I'm going to go get a knife and I'm going to cut that out and uh, put it on the plate okay everyone you can see Winnie down there she's checking it out how good does that look I'll tell you what that meat absolutely cooked up fantastically it's nice and tender um, I'm going to have a bite here Mm, that is beautiful. I give Winnie a piece. As Buck says, she gives it the pause up, probably a double pause up. I'm going to go enjoy this. The little row tisserie, absolutely fantastic. I just took the top out of it like I showed you. Um, took the meat out, took it inside, cut it all up. Bit of gravy, absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go have a white hot. One of the things with doing YouTube videos, you always got to get the shot of the food. Uh, when you get it cooked, take up a bit more time. You don't want to get in cold, but thanks very much everyone for watching. I hope you've liked, um, liked the video. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get all this gear from uh, Barbecue Spit Rotisseries. And uh, thanks very much to those guys for sending it out to me. Absolutely fantastic. I'll have a follow up video on the uh, little uh, Ospit drum thing as well. But, you know, thanks very much. I'm going to go enjoy. Stay safe, look after each other. I'll see you on the next one. See yous. Say bye, Winnie. Say bye. Okay, see you guys. Bye. Go for it.